Hey guys, today I'm going to show you one of the best assassins in the current meta, Harley. If you like to go for kills, he's your man, or boy. He's also one of the easiest assassins to learn, so if you're a beginner, he's the assassin for you. Let's begin with the basics, his skills. First is his passive. His basic attack deals magical damage instead of physical damage. And whenever he deals damage to an enemy, he reduces the magic defense of that enemy by 2 for 3 seconds. This effect can stack up to 15 times. Next is his first skill. He shoots 3 to 5 rounds of cards forward, dealing magic damage to the enemy. When hitting an enemy, his attack speed is increased each time by 5% for 3 seconds. It can stack up 8 to 10 times. Importantly, the damage decay after hitting an enemy 3 times. Keep that in mind when you attack a single enemy with this attack. Let's continue with his second skill. Harley teleports to a designated direction and increases his movement speed for 2 seconds. If you use this skill again, you will teleport back to the place you are coming from. This is the skill you should use to engage or to escape of course. More on how to use this skill later. Let's finish his skills with his ultimate. He shoots a fire ring to a designated enemy hero, dealing magical damage and slowing him down. The ring stays for 4 seconds before it deals additional damage. There are two very important things to know about this skill. First, when you deal damage to the target while the ring is around him, the second damage is increased by 50% of the damage dealt during the ring's duration. And secondly, it can be blocked by other heroes, so make sure no one blocks the way to your target. That's all his skills, let's talk about how to use them. First his usual combos. 2 plus ult plus 1 and maybe 2 again. You teleport near to your victim and use your ult on him. Then you try to hit the target with as many cards from your first as possible to increase the second damage of your ult. Afterwards you either teleport back or you simply run away. As an assassin you should back out of the gang as soon as you use your skills. Otherwise you will end up dead many times. Also you should focus on the squishy enemies. Don't waste your time on the enemy's tank except when he is really low. Then you can finish him off. Hold up a second, do you still pay attention? If yes and you enjoyed this guide so far, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to ML Guide. You will get at least one new hero or special guide every week and become a much better ML player by watching them and learn from them. Thank you very much, love ya! Another very good combo is ult plus 1 plus 2. This you use when you are hiding in a bush and the enemies are really near to you. With this combo you use your second skill to chase the enemy and teleport back into safety afterwards. If your ult is on cooldown or to finish off low enemies, you can also just use 2 plus 1 plus 2. Your first skill can deal already enough damage in many situations, so you can save your ult for a better time. You can also use this combo to just poke your enemies and annoy them. These are the 3 best combos you can use. Now to some general tips. Don't engage alone against multiple enemies. You'll be faster dead than you can think. Focus on enemies who are alone. Jump into the gang after the enemies already use some skills. Or just be really careful and teleport away as soon as it gets dangerous. The best way to ambush the enemy is when you teleport from a bush. Your enemy cannot see from where you came then and you can easily escape like this. You don't need to go always for the kill. Many times it's enough to damage the enemy so you have to retreat and you can take the objectives. You can use your first skill to check bushes you are about to enter. If your stacks add up, you know that an enemy is hiding in there, so you can retreat before getting ambushed. And as a last tip, use his second skill to room around faster. You will increase your mobility a lot by doing this. Next is his role. I think the best role for him is the assassin role. He can clear the jungle quite fast and you can be annoying on all three lanes. You should consistently roam around and force as many ganks as possible, so your team gets a farm advantage over your enemies. You should also focus on ending the match as soon as possible. In the very late game, he's not that effective anymore. As quick extra tip, I'm showing you my favorite jungle rotation in the early game. You should start with the buff on the opposite side of the gold lane. Your goal should be to give your allied marksman the biggest advantage possible. Afterwards you clear the small camp and move to the next buff. Last you clear either this or this camp, depending on which side the gold lane is. You should be almost level 4 by now and can start to hide in the near bush. Either you wait for a few seconds until you are level 4 or you try to force the gang already earlier when the enemy's marksman is already quite low. Like this you should be able to kill the marksman or at least make him retreat so you can get a nice bonus from the tower shield. Afterwards you go back into the jungle and focus on getting the turtle. For me this works almost all the time pretty well, unless your allies on the gold lane gave away the first blood already. Back to Harley. You can also play him in the mid lane slash a support. It can work pretty well too. 
But as assassin, you have more influence, I believe. Now you know how to play him. Let's continue with his belts, emblem and build. I don't think I need to tell you what you should use in the jungle, right? If you're not playing in the jungle, I would recommend Flame Shot. It's so satisfying to snipe by the fleeing enemy. The emblem you should use is the custom mage emblem. As sub talents, use agility and observation. About his talent, you could argue. I like to use Mystery Shop because I'm aiming to end the game as fast as possible. And with a 10% item cost reduction, I can dominate the enemy early on to give my team a huge advantage. But you could also use Magic Worship or Impure Rage for more damage. It's up to you what you like more. Now let's talk about his build. As always, I'm not only going to show you my build, but also going to explain you the items, so you know why you should use them. First his boots. You can choose between Arcane Boots for Magic Penetration and Magic Shoes for cooldown reduction. As his first core item, I like to build Clock of Destiny. You will gain more HP and magic power every 20 seconds, which stacks up to 12 times. When the stacks are at the max level, you will receive 5% extra magic power and more mana. Also, you get in general more HP, mana and magic power for it. Buy this item only in the beginning, to stack up your stacks as fast as possible. Next is Lightning Trunken. You get more magic power, more mana and some cooldown reduction. Its passive is that every 6 seconds, your next skill deals additional magic damage to maximum 3 nearby enemies. The damage scales with your maximum mana. The next item is Holy Crystal. You simply get a lot more magic power from it. And the last is Divine Glaive. You get magic power from it and get a lot magic penetration from its passive. Other items you could use are Concentrated Energy for Magic Lifesteal, Calamity Reaper for more damage and Necklace of Durants when you play against heroes with high HP regeneration. You can also use some defensive items such as Winter Trunction for the Frozen effect, Athena Shield when you play against one-shot mages and Immortality for an extra life. To round up the guide, let's talk about his targets, who he counters and his counters. All squishy heroes are your target. Only target the enemy's tank when he is low to get the extra gold, otherwise you just waste your time. You can pick him always as counter against squishy heroes without blink skills. Examples are Leslie, Farsa, Hanabi, Odette or Layla. Their only chance to escape is Flicker, but since his has a 2 minute cooldown, they will not have it available all the time. You shouldn't pick him against Hayabusa, Lancelot, Syn or Eudora. Eudora can stun you easily, so you can't escape any gank. And Hayabusa, Lancelot and Syn can escape your ult damage too easily. In general, you should make sure that no enemy can CC you. If that happens, you will die very easily. And that's all for today's guide. About which hero should I make a guide as well? Let me know in the comments and also check out my already existing guides, like how to escape the epic hell, for many general tips on how to become a better ML player. Thank you for watching and see you next time.